What is going on guys? Welcome to another operations video here in Japan. Today we are at Nagashima Spa Land and we're going to be going around to all of their major roller coasters to see how fast the dispatches are. Now, before you watch this, I hope you had a chance to watch the Fuji Q one because one thing you might have noticed is that the operations were a lot better than what we were expecting. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Nagashima does. Will they be worse or better than what we originally thought? As usual, safety is the number one priority. The main thing we are focusing on is to see how fast that line is going to be moving. So before we begin, Unfortunately, we're not able to get to every single roller coaster. Nagashima does have a lot of rides here. We're able to get to most of them. The main coaster we will not be showing you today is their Schwarzkopf shuttle loop. So I apologize, they will not be timing their dispatch, but we got to pretty much everything else. So let's go around and see how they do. <laughs> Just open gates. Open gates. Thank you. 
So that's all for this operations video. Now, we have a lot to talk about because some operations were not so bad, others were a big yikes. Uh, your main ones were Acrobat, Steel Dragon, and Corkscrew. All three of those were really long, and the unfortunate thing is, a couple of those were only running one train. One train on Corkscrew, Acrobat had one train, Steel Dragon, we were here for two days. On one of the days it was running one train, the other day it was running two. Uh, another thing, Hakuge, unfortunately, ran one train the entire time we were here. The operation's not as bad, but again, when you have one train, that line automatically doubles in length because you have to wait for it to run the entire course before it comes back. So that is an unfortunate thing. Uh, another thing to note, uh, Arashi had a pretty fast dispatch, but uh, while we were here, at one point they were only running one of the sides, so that automatically cut the capacity in half, which is unfortunate. So as crazy as it sounds, with Fuji Q having that, you know, being famous for having some really slow dispatches, this park's operations were a lot worse than Fuji Q's. Dare I say, as of where we are in the Japan Coaster Tour at the moment, Nagashima Spaland has the worst dispatches we have seen in Japan. So, if you are coming here, prepare to wait a bit longer than you might otherwise. Again, I would say hit Acrobat early on. Uh, Steel Dragon is another one that you might have to wait a while for because if that thing is running one train and it has long dispatches, that's a pretty long cycle before you'll get on. And while we were here, Steel Dragon at one point did have a 90 minute wait, which is very unfortunate. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this operations video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you guys next time.